what's going on you guys welcome back to my channel and today i wanted to do a makeup look for you guys so i wanted to add a little bit of a pop of color does that make sense a little bit of a pop of color i wanted to add a pop of color to my everyday makeup look to show you guys that literally you can go from regular to absolutely fabulous from day makeup to clubbing makeup instantaneously and all you have to do is add a bright vibrant color anywhere on your eye just to stand out so if you guys want to know how to achieve this look please continue on watching oh wait you guys stop this video right now and hit the subscribe button right there right in the corner because you guys definitely need to watch all my newest and latest videos that i do just for you guys each and every week because they are absolutely amazing they are fabulous i am vlogging now i am hanging out with my friends i'm hanging out with family i'm doing challenges i'm doing a whole bunch of shit on my channel that you guys are definitely going to love and quite entertaining must i say so if you guys can do that please do and let's get straight to the video you guys it's like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning and I'm doing a video. I need this energy. What the fuck is going on with my skin? I feel like I'm about to get my period. All jokes aside, Alexandria and Drizella right here, like the evil stepsisters just popped them up popped up on my face, decided to say, oh no, girl, you're not going to the ball. And I'm like, no, ma'am, honey, Cinderella needs to snap into it. So by saying that, let's get right into it. And I'm going to use the Professional Primer from Benefit Cosmetics. And I'm just going to take a little bit on my hand and I'm going to place that right on my T-zones and spreading that all over the rest, all over the rest of my face. Then, like always, I'm going to take the Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Caramel Beige um, 108, and I'm going to place that right all over my face, just dot it everywhere. And I'm going to take my Damp Beauty Blender and then just dab that all over my skin, making sure that foundation, foundation is nicely pressed into our skin. And also remembering not to use swiping motions. Always remember just to dab and press everything in. We don't want any streakage on our face. because That's just not cute at all. Then we're going to take the Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder Foundation in the shade um, 190 Nude. And we're going to place this foundation on the highlight point of our face. And we're going to take our Beauty Blender and just blend out everything, making sure everything is a flawless blend. And also remembering, again, not to swipe or smudge your concealer in because it would literally ruin the whole makeup look and the whole base. And honestly, your base is literally the most important thing when applying your makeup because without a good foundation, you won't have a good look. Okay, you guys, so I know I told you guys about the CoverGirl Loose Translucent Powder and I love the way it like locks in my foundation. I love the way it looks just naturally. But I had an altercation this weekend and someone took a picture of me with a flash on and I literally looked like James Charles did when he was out and about and looked like a dead corpse. Like it was not cute whatsoever and that's not the look that I'm trying to go for. So I'm just going to go back to my good old trusty Laura Mercier setting powder, which again, you can't go wrong with it. And um, I'm just going to place that right underneath my eyes um, on my forehead on my nose above my lip and on my chin as well making sure all of that is locked in place and whatever the remainder that's left on my brush i'm just going to put that everywhere else then we're going to take the morphe contour palette and a real technique brush and we're going to contour our cheekbones making sure they're nice and popping down the sides of our temples right on the bottom of our, right on the bottom of our lip just to make it more bigger and plump and you can also pinch the brush to make it more slender and skinny and go down the sides of our nose as well nothing too harsh or crazy now on to highlighting and i'm gonna take the wet n wild precious petals highlighter and obviously i am running out because i'm obsessed with this stuff and of course the morphe m501 brush that i use and i'm gonna take a little bit of that and i'd like to go around my eye and on my cheekbone 
and some on my cupid's bow and you guys don't be afraid to using a whole lot and if it gets on your lips that's fine because we're going to cover it up with lipstick anyway and right on the tip of your nose and down the bridge of it as well and on the inner tear ducts and on your brow bone might as well <laughs> then taking artist couture's x-rated blush we are going to place that right on the apples of our cheeks using a real technique blush brush and also blending that all the way up to our hairline giving us a little bit more color and up to this makeup look and when you're done with your blush i'm going to do my brows and i'm going to do them off of camera because i like to get really in there and really do my brows i am going to be doing a brow tutorial for you guys so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and what i'm going to use on my brows is the anastasia beverly hills dip brow and yeah so i'm going to be right back you guys i'm going to get it and we're going to get straight into the eye makeup look and we're going to take the morphe 350 eyeshadow palette and the morphe mb23 fluffy blending brush and we're just going to place that right into our crease and kind of putting that color primarily right from the corner of the eye all the way up to that brow kind of in an angle And really winging that out as well taking this palish nudish color and a flat shader brush we're going to place that right on our lid and also cutting that crease as well and we're going to take the urban decay glide on eyeliner and the color freak and we're going to put that right in our waterline and just a little bit below so next we're going to take the urban decay electric eyeshadow palette in the color freak <laughs> What a coincidence, you guys, that's crazy. And we're gonna place that right on top of the eyeliner so we can set and lock in place. And I wanted to kick it up a notch, so I'm gonna take Mermaid Fantasy, which has a green reflectant, and place that right into our tear duct area. And it's just simply gorgeous. Okay, you guys, so here comes the hard part. So we're going to take the Sephora eyeliner and we're going to give ourselves a fierce wing. <sighs> Pray for me, you guys. Okay, you guys, so all I did was just added some false lashes, and these are the Ardell lashes in Wispies, which are some of my favorite lashes, and I added some mascara to the top and bottom lashes using um, the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. And um, yeah, so let's just get on to our lips, which I already started. So I'm using the CoverGirls um, Lip Perfector in um, Smoky Intense. And we're going to take this lipstick from Renegade in the shade P98. And we're going to focus this on the center of our lips to give this look a nice pout. And it's like a really pretty like coralish, orangish, pinkish color. I don't know. It's hard to describe, but it's gorgeous. So this is the finished makeup look right here. I hope you guys love this look as much as I do because honestly, I am obsessed with this look. I love how this summery, glowy, bright, vibrant look came out. And honestly, you guys can wear this to like any like vacation, vacation, staycation, anywhere that you guys want to go to. Somewhere preferably on like an island somewhere like Barbados, San Tropez, Fiji Islands, where you're just laying out on the beach with your pina colada in your hands and like some man just over you, just feeding you grit. Well, you know what I'm saying, like, you know what I'm saying. So if you guys wanna know, everything that I use is gonna be listed in the description box below. And obviously I have discounts on these amazing contacts that I'm wearing, so make sure you guys go check that out as well. And if you guys want me to recreate a makeup look or create a makeup look, definitely put that in the comment section below and also leave green heart emojis in my comments to show me that you guys love this makeup look as well. And don't forget to follow me on my social medias, which is my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And that is all Valerie with the Y underscore vision. And my Facebook is Valerie Medina. And like always, don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and definitely subscribe because I would so appreciate it. And you can subscribe by clicking the button right there, right in the corner. So you can watch my newest and latest videos that I do just for you guys each and every week. And remember you guys, it is your vision and is whatever you make it as long as you make it fucking fabulous. So until the next one, you guys. Mwah.